Uh, hi everyone. In this video, I will explain you how to write a sample program for a given example in in the Cardassus environment using the ladder logic diagram programming language. So here we have the process in which we have a tank and we want to control the level of the liquid or water inside the tank. These are the uh, sensors and actuators that we have for this system. We have an on-off switch. Whenever the on-off switch, which is the main switch, is put in the off situation, the pump will not uh, work at all. Whenever it's on the, in the on situation, we will have the control of the system and the pump could be turned on. Uh, we have a manual or auto switch here, so we will have two modes of control. One would be the manual mode, the second one would be the auto, and we will see the difference later. Uh, we have a pump here, which could be turned on or off. Whenever it's turned on, then the liquid will go out of the tank, and whenever it's switched off, the, the liquid or water inside the tank will not go out. We have two uh, switches here for detecting the level of the liquid inside the tank. So we have one low sensor switch here. Whenever the level of the uh, water inside the tank is above this level, the switch here will be closed and we will receive high signal from it. And whenever the level of water goes below this level, the sensor, uh, the yeah, the level sensor here will open. And the same for the high sensor switch. And we have also three pilot lamps here. One is green, the other one is red, and the third one is yellow. The green one is used to show us whether the pump is running or not. The R or red one is used to show us whether the level of the tank is below the uh, low level or above that. And the yellow one is for is used for detecting or for showing whether the level of the liquid is above the high limit here or not. Here we have the explanation for the uh, process. So with the on-off switch in the off position, the pump will not be turned on. In the manual mode, the pump will start if the water in the tank is at any level except low. So if the level of the water is above the low limit, in the manual mode, the pump will be turned on. And in the automatic mode, if the level of the water in the tank reaches a high point, the water pump will start so that the water can be removed from the tank and lower the, the level. When the water level reaches a low point, the pump will stop. So as soon as the level of water goes above the uh, high limit, the pump will start. And as soon as the level goes below the low limit, the pump will stop. And here we have the status indicating lights, green, red, and yellow, as, as I already discussed and explained them. And then here we have the explanation for the ladder logic program, and we have the ladder logic program itself here. So we have contacts and we have some coils, which some of them refer to the, the pilot lamps here. One coil refers to the, the coil of the motor for the pump, and we have some ex some internal uh, variable here as well, for which we can just latch or unlatch that internal variable. And the corresponding contact is used here, as you can see, in series with the manual or auto switch. Now I will show you step by step how to create the project and how to implement the code that you have seen in the uh, PDF file. Yeah, in, in the description of the project. So we can start by clicking on the new to create a new project. We can select a standard project. Here we need to specify a name, like example project water tank. You can specify a location for the file. And then here we need to, we have two uh, indeed options. For, we need options for determining the device and for the programming language. Since we will do it in the simulation only, we don't need to care about the device that 
you we have here the list of the devices but if you are doing in doing it using a real PC then you need to determine the device that you are connected to or you will be connected to the uh, to it later and here for the programming language I will select letter logic because that's the language that we will use in this example and there are some other options as well you may uh, check them later clicking on OK we will have the project uh, ready for us here you will see the tree of the project and this is PSC underline PRG which uh, is indeed the main piece of program that we need to develop here we have several uh, parts for the window in this segment we need to, de to declare the variables and here we need to develop the code we will have a very simple visualization for this uh, example as well to do that we need to right click on the application from add object select the visualization Let, let's wait for it to be added to our project okay um, uh, my system takes a, a little bit you can just click on add you can change the name but it's okay if you keep it like this uh, for now and then the visualization will be added to our project hopefully and we will see it here quite soon okay just a minute yeah so we have it here and it's uh, indeed uh, already opened for us so what we can do is to start with the visualization or to start with the program developing the program so here we have indeed the piece of code that you want to develop for that we would need to have one two three and four switches which will have two states either on or off and they are normal yeah, in that kind of switches yeah? they are not like push buttons or momentary switches and here we have one two three four in the output devices three of them are the pilot lamps and one is the motor but here since we are in the simulation we will use a pilot lamp indeed to determine the state of the motor as well so we would need four pilot lamps and four switches let's go back to our codices visualization here in the toolbox we have these lamps switches and bitmaps from here I can grab uh, four pilot lamps to insert them you just click on them drag them and drop them here in the visualization window I can do the same or I can just copy and paste here control C and control The first one will be used for the motor I keep the color like this and I can write in it uh, or add some kind of label here as well to distinguish it from the uh, other ones to see which one is indeed uh, indicating which element or which device in our project uh, let's look for the I guess they are yeah it's here in the common controls we have the label dragging and dropping it here then we can double click and write motor inside we can also change the font here in the text properties and we can have it large to have it yeah I, I guess this is a, a right size for it. so here we have motor then I can again copy paste and change the text for that well we need one for let me again check the the PDF file that we have we need one for pump running low level and high level so this one will be called pump running can change the size of the text box or label low level 
and high level. And we can change the color of the palms uh, of the pilot lamps as well. The first one should be green, red, and yellow. So to change this into green, we can in the list of the properties we have this background color here. It should be green. That's it. This one should be red, and this one should be yellow which is by default yellow so we keep it like that now we need to have four switches here again we can go to the toolbox and from lamp switches and bitmaps we can pick four switches we can have rotary switch for example or we can have different kind of switches there like tip switch or rocker switch or a power switch as well or we can have a push switch with LED let's just bring that one here as well we, we can also use labels to determine I just want to copy this and okay seems that it's easier to insert another label So this one will be used to do to control the on off switch. Okay. And just copy and paste. same label and change the text this one will be used for manual or auto this is for low level switch and this is for high level switch so as you can see you can easily change the the label its size and its location uh, now in the next step we need to associate each one of these switches and each one of these pilot lamps with some variables in our program and we have uh, we should have this on off manual or auto low sensor and high sensor switches and also motor pump and pilot lamps for the low level and high level as well uh, we can directly declare the variables in our program here or we can start to develop the code and declare the variables as as needed yeah, as we go line by line in our code uh, okay so let's start developing the code we have the code already prepared here so for now I don't care about how the contacts are connected to each other or how they are put in different order in different ranks to to have the logic behind implemented I just want to implement the exact code here in Codices. We can start by implementing the first rung that we have here. So we have this negated contact and then an hour contact, an hour contact, and then a coil. We can start by inserting a negated contact from here. As you can see, insert negated contact. And then we need a, a normal contact. So I can pick it from here again insert contact then another contact as well and then at the end I need a coil so we need to have this uh, two contacts in series with each other and in parallel with these two other contacts so what I can do is to select these two and then choose this insert contact parallel below and then select here and insert another contact so now we, we have everything similar to what you can see here in the PDF file or in the program uh, provided for us we just need to determine uh, 
which variables or which devices are we dealing with. So here I will call this man auto. I can do it just by clicking and then starting to type and then clicking on, on the enter. And we will have this auto declare window. You can see that here we have the name and here we have the type, which is by default boolean because we are dealing with a boolean variable. You can initialize it, specify an address, but we don't need it here because we will be in only in simulation. And you can also provide some comment like this is the uh, switch to determine the manual or automatic control of the process, something like this. Yeah? And then click on OK. You will see that the variable is declared here. You can see it in the variable declaration area with the comment that you have provided. So we have manual or auto over there. We need to have low sensor switch. So I call this so sensor switch. It's a Boolean variable. I don't provide any comment. And you see that it appears here. This will be off on switch or on off switch as you wish. And here you will have again man or auto. This time you will not see the variable declaration window because it's already declared. Yeah? And here we will have a latch or unlatch. I will call it something like internal relay. And I need to declare it. So we are done with the context. We just need to determine a variable for the coil. And I will call it motor similarly and declare it like this and now we have the first run of the code ready for us to continue we can go to the second rung of the code that we have here in the second rung, rung we have two uh, contacts in series with each other and then a coil so initially we don't have a second rung, rung here yeah? we have only one network or rung to add another one, you just right click here and then select insert network below. Now we have a space to work on. You can click two times on the contact, insert contact, and we will have two contacts here and then we need to have a coil. The first contact will be associated with manual auto variable. The second one will be associated with the high sensor switch and since this is the first time that we have this variable here we need to declare it and the output will be associated with the internal relay variable that we already have declared inter internal relay internal relay or you can just click on this if you are not sure whether you have typed it correctly or not you can uh, click on this icon which appears here and then go to the assistance uh, just a moment here yeah. an input assistant window and and then and, then and, and okay just a minute uh, i guess my system yeah is not fast enough, so we wanted to select internal relay, yeah? which is here, and then click on OK. Save the project, you can see that it's OK. Now let's check the next rung of the code, manual or auto in series with low sensor switch, manual auto here in parallel, and then we have this, this slash coil. So that's something new for you. We can continue by adding a network below here. We will have a contact and then we can add a negated contact. Then we will have a coil. But this time our coil is of kind unlatch or reset. So for that we have in condenses we have insert reset coil. I just do it and you can see that here inside the coil we have the R letter in capital which means that this is a reset coil and this should be 
uh, associated with the internal relay. And here we need to have this manual or auto contact in parallel with these two. As a result, I will select these two by keeping the by pushing down the control key in the keyboard and then clicking on them. And now I can just select this insert negated contact parallel below. The first one is manual or auto. The second one is low sensor switch. And this one here is manual or auto. And we are done with that wrong as well. Just to double check here. Uh, okay, so for this coil, we, we need to have a latch coil in it. But I have inserted a normal one. This one, yeah. To convert it into the latch coil, you can just click on that. Uh, yeah, I guess we can select this insert set coil. No, it's not going to work. If I click it, and uh, let's click on that, we can change this into, uh, I guess we have an option of, yeah, converting this into a set coil or latch. But in any way, I just insert a new one associated with internal relay and remove this one. Now we have a set or latch coil here. We have a reset or unlatch coil here. And going back to our program, we just need to have three more rungs. In each rung or network of the code, we have one contact and one coil. So I will go back to the program. We need to add three more networks. Network below and insert network below. And in each one of them, in the first one, we need a normal, coil, normal contact and a normal coil. In the second one, we need to have a negated coil negated contact and the normal coil and in the last one we need the normal contact and the normal coil so here we need this and then a coil and now we need to associate each one of these contacts and coils with the variables that we have here i will do it and then i will come back Uh, okay, so as you can see here, I have assigned these contacts and the coils to the corresponding variables, motor, low sensor switch, and high sensor switch, and I have created three new variables, green pilot, red pilot, and yellow pilot. All of them are of, uh, their type is Boolean, and you can see that they are already declared here. So now the only thing which is remaining is to associate the sense, the pilot terms and the switches that we have here with the corresponding uh, variables. So this is for on off switch or variable. To associate it with the on off variable, you can just click here in the variable field. Double clicking, you can start to type, but for the beginning, it's better to click on this browse icon and in the input assistant, find your variable. So this is for on off or off on switch. So clicking on this off on, you will see that it appears here as PAC underline PRG dot off on. Uh, we need to do this for all the switches and pilot times that we have here. I will associate this with the manual or auto. So we have it here. This one with low level switch, uh, which is here, low sensor switch. And this one with high sensor switch. This will be associated with the motor, motor coin. And this one with green pilot, which is here. This one with red pilot. 
and this one with the yellow pilot. And that's all for this. Since we are doing it in the simulation, we need to set the online mode into simulation. And now we are ready to run the code. To start running the code, we need to click on this login icon here. And yeah, clicking on OK, we will see if there are any kind of errors or mistakes in our code or not. If there are any errors, we will see the error. Otherwise, we will be ready to, to run the code. And you can see here that it's being compiled in our code. So we have zero errors, zero warnings. And we are ready to run the simulation. To run the simulation, we can click on this icon here, Start, F5. And we should see the visualization here. But as you already may know, we have there is a bug with this version of the classes, 3.5.7. And you will see this program loaded exception error if you are using the same uh, version. I will fix this. To fix this, I need to go out to log out. And then here on the application, right clicking on the applications, I will have the properties. And here in the build, I need to type with your no exception handling. I hope this will help. Saving the project, we can try to log in again. OK. Download failed, so I need to log in with download again. And now we are ready to to run it. And hopefully this time, yeah, so we have it here. We have it here. So originally, what we have is like this. Uh, we have here the list of the variables that are used in the project, manual or auto, low levels low sensor switch, off on, internal relay, motor, and so on, and so forth. And here you can see their type, all of them are Boolean. And here you see the value. They are either false or true. By default, these are false. And this red pilot lamp is set to true. And it receives its indeed its value here from this rank. Since the low sensor switch is not closed, the red light, red pilot light receives true value. And that's why it is turned on here in the visualization. If you want to see the visualization and the code at the same time, you can just click on the visualization tab, drag it, and drop it somewhere like this. So now we have both of them at the same window. And you can change from here the, the level of the zoom, zooming like 50%, or you can provide 80% here. So it depends on your risk screen and how big you want to have your uh, visualization window to display the, the different variables that they are uh, provided, this, this different elements in it. To change the uh, state of any, the, any of the switches, you just need to click on them. If I click on on off, I change the state into on indeed so now it become it, yeah it become true i have off on as true and you can see it here as well so in the uh, context and also for the coins whenever they become highlighted it means that their value is true so here we have a negative contact its value is true it means that the Normal contact corresponding to the same variable has the false value, and that's what you see here. Now, if, you, if I change the uh, manual or auto, you will see that this manual auto contact changes to true, and the normally closed case changes to false in it. 
Now assuming that our low level switch is closed, meaning that the level of the water is above the uh, lower limit and the level is below the high level switch and we are in the automatic mode, the motor will not work. If I click on the high level switch, it means that the level of the water, water inside the tank is above the uh, high level and as a result motor should start for the pump to, to indeed reduce the level of the water. I guess this should happen if I click on the high level switch the motor should turn on. Let's see if it's the case. And that's the case, yeah? As soon as I change the state of the high level switch from false to true, the level of the motor is the, the, the motor turned on and it means that the pump is running, high level switch is also activated and now if I change the value of this from true to false meaning that the level of the water is below the high level you can see that the high level indicator is turned off however the motor is still running the pump is still running and that's because the level of the uh, water is above the low level switch if I change the state of the low level switch, you will see that the, the water is below the low level and as a result motor and pump are stopped now. So I guess there's no need to explain the code more than this. You can refer to the description of the process. I just wanted to show you how you can develop a simple example using ladder logic diagram from scratch in codices and how can you simulate it. I hope you will find this uh, project helpful for understanding the logic and for understanding how to implement the code in general in codices and also how to have a very simple uh, visualization window for your code. Uh, all right, so I think this is all for this video. I hope you will enjoy it and you will share it with your friends if you find it useful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.